Yeah, that's why this I asked. Is, uh, this is Black Ice here live. I'm in Inglewood. Family, you know, as always, I'm tired. I've been um, running all over the weekend, um, trying to help save the lives of these and change the lives of these young men. I'm here with my mom over here. Mom, you want to say hi to everybody in my network? Hello. Um, I, I'm sending my greetings to everybody. I send love. Um, I just came back from the Kingdom Hall. She's a job witness. And we had such a beautiful meeting. And if you want to know more about us, we do have a website, which we're, we're going to come campaign for August, and it's being held and done worldwide. And the website uh, that we're uh, ask, telling everybody that we have is jw.org. Please feel so free to check it out. Absolutely. So. Um just tell the people what you think about your son, Black Ice. Actually, tell them what you call me, you know, because a, a lot of people don't really understand where the name Tony Swagger came from. It's a childhood name, so you can tell them. Well, his name is actually Tyrone DeAndre. Hey, actually, tell them all that, mother. But go ahead. Okay. The reason his name became Tony was my brother-in-law and his uncle had just passed away. His name was Tyrone. My mother-in-law was grieving so hard till I really just didn't want to just bring up the name Tyrone all the time. Plus, my son, my other son's name is Jerome, and we gave him the nickname Roni. I got that from a young man that I went to school with whose name was Jerome, and that was his nickname. So, since I did not want to just constantly use Tyrone since my brother-in-law, my brother-in-law's death was so recent. I said, well, let me see what rhymes with Ronnie. And therefore, I came <laughs> up with Tony. And this is how he got the name Tony. Wow. Tony Swagger now, y'all. So, but listen, um, look out there in the camera, the video. Tell the people what you feel about the work that your son is doing in the community in the juvenile detention centers, in the homeless shelters, in the public school system, with Poet and the Legends of Chicago Hip Hop. And um, this is something, you know, I, I first started rapping and she was the first one that was like, you don't have to have negative lyrics in your rap songs. So she was the one that led me on the path of positive hip hop when I was younger. But now I'm in a spoken word. So just tell the people what you think about what your son is doing. Well, actually, he just amazes me. Uh, God has given him such a gift, and he has taken it and manifested it in such a large way, and I'm so glad that it's used to help other people, because this is what I hope he saw within his mother. If we're not here to help somebody, then we might not as well be here at all. That's what makes me so proud of everything he does. He does it with considering other people. And this is what the Bible tells us to do. That we have to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. And that we know that God is love. And we want to be a, a show this uh, love that we have because our Creator is the one who we serve. And we want to exhibit the things that we know uh, that he has instilled in us. So, now you see where I got my spirituality from. My father, who's no longer here, um, he passed on um, September, August, the, August. I mean, August 17th, right? August. 817. Uh, 1995. 19, 2005. 2005. 2005. That's right, three years before New. Um, and that was a very, you know, traumatic experience for me, too. Um, that's why I got the dates kind of mixed up because it was three years before my son passed and um, I just want to say that like my mom said there's only two reasons why we exist on this earth one is to serve God and one is to serve man and if we're not serving God and we're not serving man then we're not, e we're, we're not even living out our purpose we're just existing so me and my mom want to challenge everyone who's watching this video to do an act of random kindness 10 acts of random kindness in 10 weeks. 
10 acts in 10 weeks. Whenever you want to start, that's when your 10 weeks start. But 10 acts of random kindness. Do something for someone else that you wouldn't normally do. Feed, a, feed the hungry. Clothe the poor. Minister to someone who needs ministering. Go and visit the sick. Those who are in prison. My mama let you go ahead and close out the video. And like my son said, sometimes just uh, starts with a smile. I remember a long time ago I was working. I felt so bad I had to pray to get to work. But I always tried to have a smile when I got to my place of employment. And this lady, as bad as I was feeling, asked me, do you feel as good on the inside as your smile on the outside makes you? So sometimes it can start with something very simple, as a smile or a simple cover. So I love you, Mama. Love you too, Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> this is Black Eyes Y'all live in the Inglewood, 74th and Sangamon, man. We out. How long? Um, six minutes and 18 seconds. Okay, that's not bad. That is long.